they decided to call the person president, but without any titles of nobility. So that's why we would call the president Mr. or Madam President, rather than His Honor or His Holiness or uh, something like that. Uh, it was used for local organizations, councils, uh, probably the largest organization that had a president before the United States was a university. Mm -hmm. So a place like Oxford or Cambridge in England uh, had a president. And so they took this term and I think that it was a contrast to other executives that ex existed at the time. So uh, it wasn't a monarch. It wasn't someone that had all the power. 회의를 주재하는 사람을 뜻하는 프레지던트로 결정되었죠. 최대한 권력과는 거리가 먼 단어를 선택한 것입니다. They were afraid of the idea of giving one man too much power. They had just fought a war against a country led by a king. They did not want another king. Other uh, answer to the uh, fears or objections of people uh, were that there were certain protections within the Constitution that would prevent the president from exercising too much power. Uh, that, uh, uh, you know, something couldn't become law without Congress. Uh, the president uh, had his power checked by Congress. <laughs> 현재와 균형의 원칙으로 만들어진 미국 연방 헌법 제 1조는 입법부인 의회를 기술하고 있습니다. <목소리> 2조에서 대통령이 속한 행정부를 그리고 3조에서 사법부를 다룸으로써 세계 최초로 삼권 분립을 명시했습니다. Constitution is that is an amazing document, um, and that's because they created this government, the three branches of government, described as separation of powers. But it really is more like a balance of powers uh, um, among the three branches of the federal government. 입법부, 행정부. 사법부가 서로를 견제함으로써 권력 남용을 막을 수 있는 장치가 마련된 가운데 비로소 1인 대통령 체제가 시작된 것이죠. 세계 역사상 최초로 국민이 직접 선택한 국가 원수였던 조지 워싱턴. 그는 사적인 인사를 배제하고 오직 능력에 따라 전문가를 임명했고 그들이 맡은 바 업무를 수행할 수 있도록 조화와 화합을 도모했습니다. 하지만 그는 끝내 사양하고 대통령직에서 물러났습니다. 연임의 제한이 없었던 당시 그의 평화로운 정권 교체는 오래도록 귀감이 되었죠. A uh, thing that Washington did that is very important uh, in terms of creating the presidency is that he gave up power voluntarily. If Washington would have taken on a third term, he might have died in office. And then people would have thought, the presidency is like the monarchy. <laughs> it's a lifetime position, a lifetime job. But George Washington had the wisdom to, to give up power, I think, at the right time.